All right, in this video, I just have a really quick tip about setting up a render sound in Avid Media Composer. So let's go up here to our effects. I'll just grab good old 3D warp. We'll go ahead and just hit render here. We don't even have to do anything to it. Hit OK render. And the effect rendered, but there was no tone alerting us, letting us know that that effect was indeed rendered. Now you can actually set up a tone to go off whenever your render has finished. Let me just remove this effect real quick. Let's go over here to settings and come down here to where it says render. Just double click that. And in this window here, just come down to where it says render completion sound. Now you'll have two options, none, which is what it's on by default, system beep and render sound. I usually choose render sound. In my case, system beep and render sound are exactly the same, but feel free to come in here and play around with both of them. I'll just choose render sound. I'll hit okay. Now let's test this out. I'll come back to my effects, grab good old 3D warp. Let's go ahead and pop into the effect window here. And just for fun, we'll actually do something to this effect. All right, move it here. Okay, let's go ahead and render this. And now we'll see what happens. We'll just click render, okay. And there we go, you heard that completion tone letting us know that we are indeed done with our render. Why would you want this? Well, it can be very handy when you have tons of effects that you're rendering all at the same time. You know, a lot of times I'll lay out a bunch of effects across all of my tracks and I'll just render them all at once, you know, by say selecting an area, I'll just have it like an in and an out, right click and do render in to out and I'll just render all my effects at once. And while that's rendering, I might be sitting back messing with my phone or something. So it's nice to get that alert tone to let you know it's time to get back to work. And that tone will play for all of your uh, effects. Even, let's go here, I'll just do a fade, add and render. It'll work for all your effects, even your fades. Go to the next one and the next one. There we go. Let us know that all, I think three of our fades there were done. So that is how you set up a render completion tone in Avid Media Composer. Once again, just come up here to your settings tab, come down to where it says render, double click, and just set the sound to whatever you want. Click OK, and you're good to go.